Hi, this is Graham here. I just want to give a quick kind of demonstration on how to draw mechanisms in ChemDraw. So firstly, um, you all should be able to um, draw structures in ChemDraw by using the toolbar. Um, all the templates are here, so your benzene ring, these are your different bonds, and then you can put in your different elements as well. So we've already done a lab on that, and everyone should be up to speed. Um, one or two things you might not know where they are is maybe the lone pair and also the plus and minus charge. So these are found down here in the chemical symbols box. Okay, and similarly, different brackets for intermediates are found here as well. So if you want to draw different brackets, you can just draw them as simple as that. Okay, so let's do one there. So we're just going to be using curly arrows and that's going to be the focus of the tutorial. So just starting on different different size curly arrows, depending on what you want to do. Um, I suppose I'll start with this size here. So we're going to go from the lone pair of the nitrogen, and we're going to attack in at the carbonyl group. So generally, I just stop a little bit before the um, the actual carbonyl group, and then you, you'll be able to see these kind of three or four different um, spots appear on the arrow. If you click down on the arrow, you can change the angle of the arrow. And you can also then, by touching the head, the top of the arrow, you can actually move it into the carbonyl group, like so. Okay, so then we can change our different arrow. So we can show the flow of electrons at the double bond breaking. And going up there. So here's our intermediate, which we've drawn. Okay, so again, we want to show the hydrogen bond moving in to the nitrogen and then the nitrogen forming the double bond. So the movement of electrons and then also the negative charge moving away to the hydrogen. Okay, so here you can simply see we've just created the curly arrow mechanism. 